Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. What's your favorite kind of bar? Ice cream? Power? Singles? Well, if you're suffering from tinny, unsatisfying audio from your expensive new TV, a sound bar might be the friend you never knew you needed. But why are they suddenly in vogue now? Well, there actually is a reason that TV speakers these days sound so flat and weak. Back when we were all using large, heavy CRTs, the additional space inside the chassis allowed manufacturers to build in bigger, more powerful speakers. And the simple fact is that richer sounds, especially in the bass range, need physical space as well as large enough drivers to be reproduced correctly. But times have changed, and the trend these days is for TVs to keep getting thinner and sleeker, which is great for having more space to walk around in your living room and saving on your power bill, but it's also left no room for a decent pair of speakers in most cases. That was a pun. So sound bars and sound bases, your TV actually sits atop the ladder, have become very popular because Unlike traditional home theater kits, which are often bulky with complicated setup procedures involving a bunch of messy wires, most consumer soundbars are meant to be more or less self-contained units that don't take up a ton of space, but still contain larger speakers that can reproduce sound more faithfully than the tiny ones built into your TV. And the growing market for soundbars has driven a lot of innovation in the space. Nowadays, they aren't just strictly replacements for stereo TV speakers, and many soundbars have built-in subwoofers, an additional driver to enable center channel, or even multiple additional drivers to enable virtual surround sound, which you can learn about more right up here. In fact, the fanciest soundbars include upward firing drivers and can even simulate speakers on your ceiling for next gen object based sound implementations like Dolby Atmos. This is often indicated as a third number in the soundbar's channel description. So that's pretty cool, I guess, but what else should you consider once you've decided whether you want a simple stereo soundbar or something that will make your living room sound like a cinema? That partially depends on the size of your room. Larger soundbars might be able to fill a larger space, but make sure you check on this before you buy, as some larger soundbars don't actually dedicate more space to drivers and are just longer, mostly empty chassis without much substance under the hood, like Michael Bay movies. On that note, if action flicks are your thing, check to make sure your soundbar supports the audio formats you'd like to use. If you want to use it for high quality, lossless audio from something like a Blu-ray player, it needs to be certified for those formats and have HDMI inputs instead of optical only, as optical connections don't have the bandwidth for your fancier standards like DTS Master Audio, and the aforementioned Dolby Atmos. With all of that said, if you really want to faithfully reproduce sound, it is true that many AV enthusiasts prefer a traditional setup with a receiver, an amplifier, and speakers. Even the highest end soundbars often struggle to reproduce the most accurate positional sound the way speakers can, and while some models of soundbars allow you to connect to separate subwoofer or even wireless satellite speakers, most are tightly integrated with non-upgradable components. So think about whether simplicity or performance are worth more to you in the long run so you can make a sound investment. And speaking of sound investments, FreshBooks! It's challenging racing against the clock as a freelancer, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. To meet this need, check out FreshBooks cloud accounting software designed for the way you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, organized, and most importantly, get paid quickly. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. Set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. See when your client has seen your invoice and put an end to the guessing games. FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers. To claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys, thumbs up the video, subscribe for more, and make sure you go into the comments section to tell us what topics you want us to cover in the future. Bye bye.